Our gluten is not what it used to be. Uh, gluten comes from wheat. Wheat is very highly hybridized, which just means that it has been, over the years, it has, as it's being recultivated, regrown, um, it is becoming harder and harder for our bodies to digest. Um, our immune systems don't recognize it as being a natural substance that is like with any other food. It doesn't even recognize it as a food source. Um, it's foreign. So what happens is it elicits immune response in the body, which creates inflammation. There's something called non-celiac gluten sensitivity. It's actually a diagnosis. So we know that a majority of people, primarily even children and infants, have uh, a sensitivity or an intolerance to gluten. So even if you don't have, have celiac, which is, you know, we've known for 70 years, is an autoimmune condition. Now we're finding that there are many, many people who are showing symptoms of intolerance to gluten-containing products um, who aren't celiac. Sometimes people don't even know they have it. it. Can show up days, a day, two days after with symptoms. Symptoms vary from person to person. So symptoms of non-celiac gluten sensitivity can look like you have a common cold. Gas and bloating, constipation, diarrhea, watery eyes, runny nose, sore throat, skin rash, fatigue, brain fog. All those things can be signs of an intolerance. And an intolerance is not the same thing as an allergy. You're gonna notice sometimes you think, you know, you eat something and your throat will swell or your tongue will get swollen. Um, you have trouble breathing, your chest tightens in them. So it's not just wheat. Um, it's also condiments. They put gluten in a lot of ultra-processed foods. So, um, and it's not always, you know, right there says gluten. There are other, you know, names that the industry, you know, can call, or sometimes they don't even have to declare it on certain products. It's really important to become aware that it's even could be an issue, and then to know how to identify if it's an issue for you, and then where to, where, like, where it could be coming into you know, your environment, your, through your food sources, and then working to try to eliminate as much as you can.